Queen Beja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode one of Parallel World Pharmacy. So let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. All right, let's see what the heck happens. I mean, I know this is going to be cutesy, which I'm over excited about. Oh, damn. Oh. <laughs> yeah, something tells me he about to get the can today. You know, truck coon looking. <laughs> So stupid. I don't know, cause like just straight up looking at him and the way he looks and the bag on her eyes, he, it just you know something bad. Oh my god. Mhm. Mm you need to get some sleep. No, don't drink any energy stuff. That's not going to help. You need genuine sleep. Oh. 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 Please tell me he still doesn't have his sister's body, though. Okay, thank God. Go to sleep. It's four, almost five in the morning. Now you're going to go to sleep. That's not enough time. So are you going to reawaken as a girl boy this time? Yeah, you're, you're not where you're thinking. You're thinking not in Kansas anymore, sir. Oh! Yeah, you're not in Tokyo anymore, baby. The fact that we started the show going a little depression, like, oh my god. You, you had to do that. Like, oh, oh, she's cute. 
Like, damn, y'all really was like, yeah, we're going to make Deja be upset for a couple of minutes. She might not. She may cry, but she might cry inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's why you can't overwork yourself. Uh, and once again, all you hear is Kayere Hondo. <laughs> she always ends up either playing like the, oh, you still have those though. But why is it backwards? Excuse me. I mean, remember, he did get struck by lightning. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, she cute.
well, you'll have to start over from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Oh, <gasps> don't overthink it, though. I, I don't even know. <laughs> So basically that Mark is going to stop his powers. Hey, but she happy about it though. She's like, at least you remember. <laughs> Fatima is like, what the heck? Oh my God. Well, if you try fire, please, you know, go out of the house. <laughs> What's wrong? Well, yeah, unfortunately, he's gonna forget See, you know, the one thing that I really always wonder about, like, isekai type shows, especially where, like, someone dies by overworking and stuff. So, very similar to, like, freaking, um, A Son of a Bookworm. When mine died, like, our mine, not the, the mine who-ish, did they switch bodies? Did the other mine just die, die? Like, we never got that answered. So, would it be the same thing for the professor and Fatima when they switch their bodies? Is that right? Oh, okay. Good. Thank God.
Eleanor? Is that the white-haired? Yeah, it is! <laughs> well, he is. Okay, Ellen. Yeah, what is none? Like darkness? Okay. Hmm. Well, something tells me we might either see a god or monster in this series. <laughs> Here, oh. The one? Oh, damn. Like, ooh, is she just that type of girl that's like, yes, let me flex, like, oh! I would really back up now cuz like oh Oh my god stop it <laughs> Yeah you're just a little too overpowered right now
And the fact that you almost broke that thing? Mm -mm. <laughs> well, definitely something not good. You would be too much of a hassle. There's something else about that holy mark that we don't know of. That we're eventually, or really, that I don't know of. Oh, dang. She like Velma from Scooby-Doo. Jesus. That I don't know of. That it's going to be really, really important later on. But... Ellen, you lying! <laughs> You're afraid of him. He, he did you just heal her finger no I think that's something completely different Divine Eye. Is the Divine Eye, like, bad? I'm guessing so. Hmm? Oh! Huh. Poor baby. Well, I, okay, so first initial thoughts, I already like this. I like it a lot. Um, It's cutesy, but it's still dark in ways, and that's what I always love when you give me something really, really cutesy and something really, really dark. Like, uh, in, in my opinion, that is a match made in heaven. Like, I'm sorry. It just works, and I love it so much. Um, Okay, so even though we know Far uh, Farmel. Far I can never say I'm never saying the name right. All right, we're just I'm gonna call him the professor until we find until I find out what his actual previous name was before he died. Um, the professor seems like a very interesting character with him and his new body and now his new abilities and everything, and even with the fact that he ain't got no damn shadow. Um, of course he is special. He just a little overpowered now, and he is hella special. But I feel like, of course. It's something about that holy mark. That holy mark had to do something with him the day that the previous owner's body got struck by lightning. And so I feel like the more we go into this show, the more we're going to learn about it. And I feel like I'm probably going to get some light on those people who have read this series or maybe manga people who have also read the series as well to give me a little more information. But I think for now, I'm just going to have to do the research on my own. Ellen is adorable. Um, the little sister is adorable. I think she's really cute. Charlotte, or Kaede Hondo in a nutshell, she, of course, she plays any sort of, like, 
cutesy, you know, somewhat ditzy type characters to, like, a T and always, like, in any show that Kaede Hondo is in, she always becomes my favorite character by the end of the season of whatever show it is because she's just so good at her craft and everything. We, I mean, I talked about it in Mariko-chan and I feel like I'm going to be talking about it again with this show and I think I kind of talked about it with Dance Dance to Sir and such, but yeah, Kaede Hondo, she's just She's good. But yeah, I re really need to know what the heck is wrong with this kid. So I hope that in the next week's episode, specifically next Sunday, we do get a little more in the nitty gritty of what is going on with him and especially the situation of the Holy Mark and then the Divine Eye and all these things because the, the, the Divine Eye and I'm guessing the Holy Mark are something bad. It has to be. But I feel like what he's probably going to do is he's going to take the things that are bad and and the things that are known bad for it and make it into good. He's going to use these powers that he has and that he has to learn, you know, unfortunately, all over again because this is his brand new body for now, um, for good and to help healing people because, of course, the show was called Parallel World Pharmacy. So, of course, he's going to be a doctor by the end of the series and, you know, all of the rest of his family are going to be in it. And so I'm guessing eventually Ellen will come around. I just think it's just going to take like maybe a little bit more time for her because she is so afraid of him. And even when they were walking and how like she's just shivering and everything, he's thinking, oh, is it because of this? Is that? Like, no, man, she is genuinely afraid of you. She doesn't, you're not the kid that she knows anymore. You're someone completely different. So it is going to take a little, like, awkward moments between these two to finally find, like, oh, hey, we can be friends. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode one of Parallel World Pharmacy. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchable Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Sunday, because I know it's Monday by the time you see this, for episode two. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!